What's up you guys, it's Adana here with another video for you guys. So there are lots of us that love the PA profession, not only because it is the number one profession in the United States right now, but because of all of the various different things that affords us, you know, a good lifestyle, um, flexibility in our career, um, and just, it's just great, you know, being able to ha have that patient care. But uh, for some of us, you know, you may get into the profession or get into PA school and realize, you know what, this isn't really for me this isn't him so what do you do at that moment in time that is what I'm gonna be addressing in today's video okay you guys so I got another question posed by one of you all and so if you have not already done so please go ahead you can leave me a comment in the comment section below because I always like you know, for the most part, respond to them or use them in my videos. But this one was from Makia Kanazi, I believe is how you pronounce it. She said, what happens if you start the program and change your mind on your career? And I mean, over the course of doing this channel, I've had people that have come to me for advice in terms of, you know, how to get into PA school. And then, you know, as I check in on them a little bit later on down the line, they're like, yeah, you know, I've decided not to be a PA any longer, which is fine. And, you know, my feelings are hurt, like just slightly a little bit, um, because again, I, I love my profession. But at the same time, I realize and I know that this is not for everyone. And that is okay. And so when I, like, the, the answer to this question for me is a really simple one. And I understand that it's not as simple to some because there are so many outside factors that play a part in the decisions that you make for your life. Um, but for me, a lot of my decisions is based on, like, just kind of like two things. Well, I guess more so three things. So is it pleasing to God? right? Like that's my number one, you know, I love the Lord. <laughs> um, so is it pleasing to God? Uh, is it going to be beneficial or so to my family? And what does it mean for my happiness? And so once I take all of those things into consideration, like at the end of the day, like if I get into something and I'm like, yo, like I'm not happy about this. I'm like, like, this is not, this is not making like a happy Adana. Right. And so if Adana is not happy, then it's going to be like just a problem. Uh, and not to say that in like a spoiledy type of way, it's just that mentally, physically, emotionally, like you're not going to be, I'm not going to be the best me that I could possibly be. So in keeping in consideration or in keeping in mind like the whole self, like my whole self, I wanna make sure that things are, are making me happy, right? And they're beneficial to my family and they're pleasing to God. And so if I get into a program and I change my mind on the career, I'm like, yo, this is not for me, like, then I'll get out of the program. Like, that's the simple answer. You know, it is as simple as smashing the like button and subscribing to my channel for more content. You just do it, okay? So if you are no longer interested in the career, get out. Uh, there's no point in continuing in something that is not going to make you happy uh, because in the long run, you're going to regret it. You're going to be like, what if, you know, or I should have done this or I wish I had done that. And, you know, life is too short to live your life like that uh, with all of the various different regrets. You know, I feel like we're placed on this earth to use the various different gifts that God has blessed us with and why like waste your gift or talent in something that is not, you know, not going to bring you joy. Uh, you're, you're going to do it haphazardly and, and it's not going to be, it's not going to be a good product that you're putting out. So, but that being said, if you get into a program, like there's no slight against you if you decide now that, hey, uh, I don't, I really don't want to be a PA anymore. If you get into a program and you decide that this is not for you, then decide that this is really not for you and leave the program. Um, I know that there are things that you're gonna have to think about, you know, maybe if you're a younger PA, you have your parents that are there and they're like, you know, pushing you or, you know, you feel like you're gonna disappoint them or, you know, you have your family that's depending on you, that has sacrificed for you, you have loans that you've gotten, but there are ways to address all of those. You know, you have a conversation with your parents and let them know like, hey, I got into this program, I'm excited about it, I was excited about it, but after being in it, these are the reasons why I've realized like this is no longer the career for me. 
you know, have that conversation. You are an adult, although you are their child, but you have that conversation with them. If for whatever reason now it's a family that's depending on you, you know, you go and you talk to your significant other, your partner, and you're like, hey, you know what? Like, I've realized I, I made a mistake in this. I'm sorry. These are the things that are, are not going to be beneficial to us. That's going to be a detriment to my mental and physical and emotional health and, you know, ultimately our relationship or our lives together moving forward. Whatever the case may be, you have those conversations. When it comes to a loan, you know, talk to the loan officer that you got the loan from or talk to the 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 lender that you got the loan from and see if how are are there ways that you can like maybe consolidate the loan, take out less um, money that you originally planned, like cancel the remaining aspects of the loan. Um, and then you start, you know, whatever refund money that you've gotten or anything like that, you put it into like the market so that it can grow your money so that you're not sitting up here spending the money that you should have been saving to try and like now pay that loan off sooner and quicker. So those are my my tips, I guess you can say, but ultimately it boils down to what is going to make you happy and like I guess if you're a Christian and a believer like what's going to be pleasing to God and what's going to be beneficial to your family. Um I I am quick to be like, yo, like this is not causing me joy right now. Like I'm not about this. Like I'm I'm going to make sure that self is taken care of um so that everybody else can be taken care of, you know. Um, you put on your oxygen mask first so that you can help everybody else and put on their oxygen, help them put on their oxygen mask. You save, you know, yourself in a sense. So um, for me, that is what I suggest you do, um, you know. Put on your big girl, big boy pants and, you know, have the difficult conversations and then just go ahead and make the best decision for you and your family and your life. All right. Thank you so much for this question. I think it was a good question. And I think that many people should benefit from this because if you're in this moral di dilemma, I guess you can say, or this dilemma in terms of like, what do I do? Um, you know, here's Adana's opinion on it, but obviously you take that with a grain of salt and you do what will be best for you and your life. Okay. If you guys have any other questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And you already know what to do. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram at it on the PA and on Instagram at get that C university and go to get that university.com where we help you not only get into, but through PA school. All right. Thank you guys. I will talk to you guys next time.